My name is Jess Vieira, and I'm the Director of Sustainability here at Appeal. Long English cucumbers are the perfect example of this tension that we've seen in the sustainability space between plastic packaging and food waste. So this has been a dilemma for sustainability experts you know, for the last several decades where we know about the challenges of single-use plastics, especially as they proliferate in our natural environment. But at the same time, plastic packaging helps to reduce food waste especially in the later stages of the supply chain. And so sustainability leaders and retailers around the world have really struggled with this pressure to remove single-use plastics, knowing that if they did eliminate plastic packaging out of the produce section, the environmental footprint of their stores would go way up because of the additional food waste that would occur. So really up until Appeal is now coming into the picture, there's been this lose-lose situation and long English cucumbers as one of the few categories that are individually wrapped in plastic really across the board um, is a perfect example of where we've seen this tension. So the really awesome thing about the Appeal product is that it works in a very similar way to that plastic packaging. Um, by creating this barrier around the fruit, it slows down water loss and oxidation, which are the two primary causes of spoilage. The difference is that the Appeal product is very, very thin. It's made of ingredients that are already in the fruits and vegetables we eat. So there really is no end of life um, disposal or impacts that you worry about with single-use plastics. The Appeal product is intended to be consumed and you know, even in the event that it does end up in a landfill or compost, it breaks down in the same way as the fruit or vegetable itself. Howlings is an amazing partner for Appeal. Um, even before we came into the picture, they're doing some really innovative things in the production of the cucumbers. Um, they use energy that's produced from waste, for example, in their greenhouses. And so they were already a very progressive player in the produce industry. And so we're very lucky to have found such an amazing partner to introduce this product with. I think what's really exciting about what's made possible with this partnership is it's giving consumers a choice to shop for long English cucumbers without having to you know, figure out what to do about this plastic. Right now, you really can't find this produce category in the grocery store um, without seeing the plastic. And so it's enabling people to incorporate these environmental practices into their lifestyle without creating additional barriers um, within their purchasing habits. I mean, when we think about the volume that will be treating um, with howlings, even just on an annual basis. I think last we checked by replacing the plastic, um, we would be eliminating the equivalent of 85 million plastic straws. <laughs> and I know those are all front of mind for us um, because of all the straw bans today. Um, but you can translate it to other things too. I think a dozen cucumbers treated with a peel would be equivalent to eliminating one single use water bottle I hope this raises attention to the fact that we don't necessarily need plastic on our fresh produce. And I think if consumers see that it's possible <laughs> to go into the produce section and not have to see things that are plastic wrapped, they'll start to expect that. Um, and I think when they expect that, then we'll have to find um, innovative ways to replace plastic other places too. Um, because I think we know that it's possible. Uh, we just the, the consumer demand for it is what oftentimes helps drive the industry to change.